Hello and welcome. We are back for the wolf among us and we are walking oh, up to the window. Can I see something? Oh, this looks dire. Okay, I think we need to go inside. Is he is he um respond uh, can he respond? Hey. Hey. Okay, but I think he moved. Ah. No. All right. I'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Oh. Come on, help me up. Okay, we can't go through the door, I guess. Yeah. What's that filter? From the screen. Two fables dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. This looks like he is out of, um, I've since 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 um since some time, not just yet. Damn. This indeed looks like suicide. What? Okay. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. He was steady. It looks like a very dedicated action. They never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Ah, everything from the book. Okay, not everything. Much from the book. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. <laughs> Good tip, Snow. Good tip. <laughs> Doesn't really help. Hmm, but I wonder why. Was it um, for temperature to falsify the po the time of death in case you would have found earlier? It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Hmm. Nothing else here, I suppose. Nobody, nobody, nope, nope. So we will look for the rest of the room. What's with the dagger? It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Bullet, bullet hole, bullet hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he really walks over all the way. Bullet passed through the chair. And the heart. Snow, could you uh, stand over there? Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is feels strange. What are you thinking? The slug should have gone over there, right behind him. 
Not here. Right. So the shooters did somewhere else. Maybe. Or we don't have the whole story. Okay. So we have another idea of him, him maybe killing himself. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. And of course, again, trails of blood. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Again, can we touch it? Yes, we can. Still a little sticky. Okay. So then, what's in beside behind the panel? Okay, we just look. Okay. Open it. Okay, we have the dirty side and a letter. What is that? It starts with a bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my oh, god! Surprise! He's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Okay, we're famous. Why? Uh, what? What's this about? Yeah. When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out. So I shot myself. In the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. <laughs> Probably had a lung. Great. <laughs> At least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. That doesn't sound cool. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. I'm sorry to inform you that 
Your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie! Who's Tori? Lawrence. I, uh... Do you? Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Smart. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun, just in case. Hey! Stop! Okay. Leave me alone! Oh. This bloody quick time event is way too. Ah. I'm a private investigator. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. <laughs> Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. They were two of them. Almost looked peaceful. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm the victim Except here. You're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. <laughs> With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, 
After the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Top sheriff in town. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Oh, there's a car. Looks worse in the day. Oh! I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Can we go up? No, we can't. Okay, this really is just um, walking in trails. We hear the... Is we hear that his son? Yes. Don't. I suppose. I think. Be nice in there, okay? <sighs> hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. You called us. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. <laughs> Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, need I'm sorry have. you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome <laughs> insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. What was a weevil? And a weevil I underwood. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Oof, Mr. British accent. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for <laughs> weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can believe you. Smashed lamp. Is that since weeks two? And the lamp's broke too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. <gasps> All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. You plucked in something else. I mean, it wasn't plucked in. I really like the pictures and the um, flags on the wall. So, can we talk to Snow or do I first have to like take a look around further? Yeah, I can take a look around further. Oh, stain. You 
bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending. No! Oh. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. No, 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 don't go up. Please don't go up. No. I guess being a fable, I mean, I guess that's, that's a serious blood stain. Ah, here are really cars. Gran Premio d'Italia. 13, 13, Sanremo. Monaco Grand Prix. Ah, oh, here's a window right out to the LA. Looks unharmed. Except. What? Ah. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. No, I... There's marks here on the window, so. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. But... Yeah, didn't you say the lock was you busted since uh, ages? the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? If you're gonna say something, out with it. Thought you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? <sighs> After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. I think third degree means... Oh, oh. I think we found, found the um, weapon. And what happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. This happened before or after you came in the window? After, after. I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff, now what? Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? The English, right? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Ah, maybe that's where the lamp stood. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? <laughs> yes, definitely the lamp. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. 
Nothing. And why did the lab have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? <laughs> Not plug it in. Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there Zen are? Fights. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? <gasps> no one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? The truth? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Ooh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? <laughs> I have no idea. Cold I Wolf. I told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live. <laughs> uh, sometimes. <laughs> borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. <laughs> that sounds all very odd. Ooh. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Yeah, it belongs to Lawrence. Like it, a dilemma. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more <laughs> blood in the place. She's a sarcastic fool. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap.
Does what a day. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. So, off to the next trail, I guess. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. Yeah. That's probably the best approach. Yeah, I'm the sheriff. I'm a good sheriff. Thanks I for wish you. there was... <laughs> Sorry. Are you two dating or something? I was... Just going to say, thanks for the help. It's been appreciated. Uh, that's all. Of course. I'm just glad I haven't been in the way. Far from it. So... It's nothing. I just... <laughs> Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. So Crane indeed is a mess. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking oh. for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful. Please. Thank you. 
The same goes for you. I will. Oh, this is some romantic shit. Oh, we we're going directly into the bar. I wanted to make a joke about the the um, the emblem of the troll of the troll under the bridge. Ah, we know you. What do you want, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, sheriff business. But I would like to ask... No? Official Fable Town business. Ah, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? He does gold. I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. <laughs> You're the fucking bar owner. Um... Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. <laughs> Ah, okay. So we can look around and I'm giving you a bonus. I'm, I'm still, I'm still, um, I'm still here um, making more of the videos. I really like the background. Um, I like the dragon picture, for example. And here we have a play, chalkboard. You guys playing right now? Nah. Okay, must be older than I guess. H? Well, that'd be you, Holly. So, who's WD? <laughs> no idea. Because it's also the first letter in the name. Woodsman. Yeah, I get it. Oh no, is it? If you're not playing, then you don't mind if I. Uh... Uh, oh, I. I didn't plan that asshole move. I, I, I didn't. Okay. We reserve the right to reuse to refuse service to anyone. Need us gold. It's a beer, I think. It's a nice gag. And here, this is what I meant with the emblem of the bar with the troll under the bridge. Um, cigarette machine. <laughs> I think we have enough. Why? Damn. Yeah, we gave away all our money to that working girl. Um, pickled eggs. I never understood why these are so infamous. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. <laughs> oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Agreed. Basto, sit down and talk. Okay. For a nice, familiar atmosphere. Free beer tomorrow? <laughs> a lot of stools in this place. Um. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? <laughs> I mean... She has you one customer. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> Good one. Think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. 
Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Tough shit. <laughs> well, that's what toilets are made for. Got lied to for a third time. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. <laughs> You'll be back. Now here you are. You and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. That's wise. Well, Woody. That makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. Kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. Uh, and the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking Wait, about? Wait, you don't know, Big Red B? Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every Just now and glass. again. <laughs> Not a good that did. What? I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Bigby, that fucking hurt. I, I thought I'd give him a drink or something. Time. Stop! This isn't what I want! This happens when a oh, non-English person plays an English up, game. Woody. Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's mm, happening right now. That's clearly our mistake. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I can growl too. Oh, good. Okay, we have to fight since we messed up. I messed up because I thought Glasser means giving him a drink. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. <gasps> Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. It's a Where? 
everything goes this way <coughs> because in the earlier episode Bigby was also played by people speaking bad English. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, wow. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Something tells me he never fought Toad. Because that would have looked worse. Someone is growing a pelt. I wonder that Woody defeated him once. <laughs> I mean, I can't repeat it again, it's our everything, our fault. I mean, it would have probably have ended this non violently. He's had enough. <sighs> Tear off his arm, no. Glasses. <laughs> Submit a damage report with my office. Fable Town will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. <laughs> Glasses. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Is a good point. No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. <laughs> but if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. Right. Oh. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Ooh. Now this got even more interesting. I would like to glass him, actually. No, no. He was a dumb. I want him. We actually have a problem with him. Fuck, man! That's not necessary! It is. <laughs> we already know that! He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it! And you got nothing to worry about. Hmm. This looks like some party at our place. Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself.
Okay, this doesn't look... Don't tell me there's another head. a surprise <laughs> okay first episode done we had something very special where's your brother fuck you give me one good reason I should tell you anything <sighs> where's the rest of her serial killer oh Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. Oh. What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's it for today. Um... Oh, all right. This time I connected with the internet. Um, but Telltale Tetra re-exists now, thanks to Chinese investors, when I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, we gave, with the majority gave Faith their money. Um, did you tell Telltale the truth? No. Um, where did you decide to go first? Oh, I went to Prince Lawrence. Others helped told. I can understand that. I had to struggle with myself too. What happened with Lawrence? Ah, you prevented Prince Lawrence's death. Okay, he could, could no, he might have died. Who's your prime suspect? I pointed at the pimp as the majority, and um, we already saw the pimp, and it's a guy right, um, right on the right with 13%. Um, that's Bluebeard, they have just been talking about, but no one men saw him. Who did you arrest, Tweedledee? Or um, to leave from um, from Alice, Alice in Wonderland, and the Woodsman. Um, yes, we got after Tweedledee. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed my extra overlong episode. And I will sign off here. Thank you very much. Until next time in 